the North Cat, baby, I'm a boss. Carolina barbecue sauce with the slaw. I'm the safe, the seller, and the vault. I'm the best, the effect, and the cause. I'm the law. Across their 18 games, following all of these teams, TSM, they're actually second place. If you do want to cut it down to fine points and, and finite systems as such, every single team has a lot to lose. Everything, every single team has a lot to win. And it all begins now with game number one. It's time, the plane's in the air. Ladies and gents, strap yourself in for what is going to be an incredible display. From southeast to the north, the plane is there. The players are dropping. And I'm seeing teams going back to original drop spots. This is the thing now. We've lost all these, well, all of them. We've lost 16 teams. You can start to look at all the little mini players. You'll have the coaches, the analysis, the team leaders. Okay, let's take a look at the lay of the land and the map and where people have essentially opened up. Face Clan should be now back to home turf. We, we've lost a Freak of Freaks. That opens that system up. TSM, Milter for them, job done. Happy days on the ground, bootstrapped in. It's not reloaded. Please do it because you're going to really upset me. If not, if you do have to pull that out. Initial Wait, grenade. first smokes, Rich. We do have a bit of a push in. Nade comes in. They're going for this. Second it looks like GX. There's the nade up towards the stairwell. Jai Wei moving in under the cover, under the supervision of Sophia in the back lines. Oh, Entersay's ready for the breach. You can see the clear on the window. Jai Wei, first nade. Oh my god, it's a shotgun waiting on the other side. That could be decimation. The wait, still patient. The boosts come in. They're biding their time. Joy on the stairs, holding the angle. That's the first point of contact. And now we wait. K-Mine and H-Win having issues, but that's not interesting right now. It's so oh, sees it through the door. Oh, goodbye! Instantly Say hello to the though. shotgun. Wait, he holds the angle. Two more shells ready to go, locked and loaded. Smoke still standing. Can GAs recover? They can't enter anymore. They know that is a big resounding no. Shut the door, get out. This is my compound. Peeking around carefully. Another fool! GX being decimated and the flush from Joy. The 686, he's, oh, he's gone for the flank while he's completely dis... They're looking at this fight to the sending map the sniper. That's amazing. If they take that out, that's their cover completely gone. The UMP, if any time it's now, if any range, it's there. Runs and Ectus Ace are looking so, so good. ZGG found an engage towards Profi. That's beyond the point, Sophia. It might be time to back out. You have just lost. Oh, one more bullet will land. That could take them out of the game. GX have lost everything. This has been an appalling start for them. Sophia's just bailing out to try and hold on for dear life. The engagement between Genesis and Corey Emmett. It has been a bridge camp. I was watching it in the back. The rest of them, they're just pushing this in. We need to get across from here. We've lost oh! one. We've lost two. 4 a.m. They've been damaged on transfer. Profi has gone down for Genesis. They need to look to that beyond. But now you have to look at the island. Who's waiting? It's Na'Vi. The CIS Giants. The European. And they're about to be crept up on by Tempo Storm. And now here comes a bridge. Lazarus made it across, or have they? First engage, they make one man through Pony Cody. Mid. Oh no! What? Pony Cody's gone down. That's a huge. Oh, he just dodges it out of Swift and Lazarus. Devastation for the North Americans. Going down in last after what looked like they were being cautious and meticulous have now just gifted T1 a huge upgrade in loot. He pre naded He put a landmine down and it hit him. That's insanity. Well, the home crowd won't be too happy with that one. Topping the charts from the semi-finals coming into this and going out in 16th game number one. You now need the mental fortitude to push on. That's, that's got to hurt. That's got to sting. And it'll be the sign of a good IGL and a good team captain to get the team back together. Rolling on throughout this competition. We look onwards. 4 a.m. still. Two alive. The noise from the bike will give away position. But really, when you've got two players on that one little motorcycle, where do you Shots. go? What do you do? What That's, do you see in front on. of you? Na'Vi got the first couple, but it's forced down the lower side of the hill who could potentially follow it up. Phaser on the move as well. Phaser uh -oh. sweeping on the... Uh -oh. oh, no! No! 4 a.m. They pulled up. They better be ready to go! Trade on one, but the second, forever, does not stand forever. It's 4 a.m. Down in 15th. One of the best in the world just got slaughtered, and now Phaser being engaged upon themselves. The PCL Giants will drop down in Wait, 16th phase. place. Are they phase. going towards Navi? Oh no! Oh, a doozy is taking down first, first phase. phase. It looks like a slaughter. Phaser at the door. Pokemon Doi prepare. Mexi and Aitzi knocking on the door themselves. They want in and they've made it in thus far. He got him. He got him. That's two. Pokemon Doi with the nade straight down. Uber knocked. 
That's rather unfortunate. Now they can make the advancement. Senya across the road, watches and waits for anyone to push outside. The cliffs will create bottlenecks. Here we go. Very hold beer on, is hold open, on. but that bridge is not. TSM are pushing it. They're going to have to try and get towards Tempo Storm. They can't cross without it. Here we go. Maluk is first, but what did TSM do? Michael Iroh's out on a limb. He's going for this one. That's a good nade. That could find Maluk down to half HP. TSM trying to temper Tempo Storm. Not so easy as Sharky snaps down towards Michael as Iroh now is slightly surrounded. Look at this hillside. He might be able to fight two, but he might lose out on the others. They've got to be careful. Genesis, Genesis have made it. They've gone to Ferry Pier. That locks Big that down. They, they could potentially stay here and lock That's out any other teams. They're Genesis. behind Genji on the opposing side. A doozy goes down. Ira, second one to fall now for TSM. Tempo Storm, they're feeling this one. There is a response back. Sharky hits the deck. Ira's gone. That's a completion. And it now comes down to Gustav holding this on his own. He's got death from above and below. Maluk being close to the engage. Maluk whips it, but he goes back in, trying to get the peak on Gustav. He's got the damage, but has he got the kill? Gustav can only find sharp shot as Maluk works his way forward, and it's him to clean up. TSM not looking so sharp anymore as Rory, of our last man alive, has two to find in the hillside, two on the coastline. Rock and a hard place to say the least as now the blue comes in. He actually hit him in the head through the smoke. He didn't go down, but now it's forced to heal. Going to be the one of the furthest away from this. Genesis just sniped one across the water. K-Mine is putting on pressure from Fairy Pier here. And why not? They have it all to play for. Team Juice in the Eastern Bridge. Oh, no. QM finding VC right in the water. Fish in a barrel. Dynamite down. A couple of a bit more distance on that one. I think they'll be getting it. Yes, indeed. TSM is out. And VC are left in the water being hunted. QM on the beach. What do you boys do? You are just being bombarded from the beachhead. Yeah, QM should lock this one out. It looks like they are. There goes another as VC are drowning. As now shots come in from further east. That's the rest of VC who are still in the blue far off here. Trying to find a way back in as... Well, Sophia's finding damage on the rumblers. Oh, where, where, where is that? There is a mass migration a coming. Navi enters force, phase, they're all together on the other side of the circle and they're approaching the bridge. Who is the vehicles? Navi does not, they're all on foot. Yes, to the edge of the white and there's time to go, but they've all got across the bridge. This is insanity for a game, not for one. This is one of the wildest Navi, circles we've seen in PUBG. They just got turned on a doozy, went for the engage and lost it. Enters force fighting their way out of this one as now Navi finally feel the force after dealing with FaZe. They might fall at the final hurdle. Now, nades come out, but can they find Senya? He's on the other side of this hill, staying alive, ducking down, trying to bide his time. And enters force. Where do they engage on this? Do they fall off? Do they find a fight? Because Senya is waiting. Snapped in the back. That's going to be Mexi. Phase still. Now giving away their position. Hitting the beachhead, you would expect boats to not be a viable option here, which means they're swimming. Either that, you get in a car, you're hitting the bridge. Once you get across that bridge, Genesis, Gen G, everyone's going to be set up looking towards teams that are finally making it across there. The blue eventually will begin to hurt. We're in phase number four here. So after that, really, what can you do? Aitzi goes down. That's probably a knock and a confirmation from the blue, unless the meds were not there for him. Maxi still holding by the bridge you're seeing the rumblers hold that's on the other side of the island for now these are the remaining teams trying to find a way in navi losing our players as the nades come out and you can see enders four step by step controlling this side of the bridge senior wants to avenge as kale is just around this corner he's going to hear the vehicle will he go for it though for now just holding tempo storm down and out 12 position for them Mexi confirms it. Senya onto Kale. Having a look around. Senya, can you get it done? No, you cannot. 11th place will be there. Blue begins to do damage. Song Yang, last man standing here for Enter's Force. But really, what can he do? Is at the mercy of the blue, at the mercy of the bridge. Oh, Uber. Uber is running for dear life. Maybe he goes and tries to find some frags. But honestly, really, what can you do at this stage apart from pick up individual points? Everyone else getting mopped up by the blue. There's nothing to be done for Uber. The best he could do is run back up and run over, but this blue hurts so bad. This is going to be the death of both of these players as we now need to look across the island. Gen G are a terrifying prospect in this scenario. They were already on the bridge. They were gate, you know, they were gate camping on the other side. They were holding it down. And now they have prime position. They control the entirety of the south side of the new circle. As that's a shot and a half coming through. We see Enter's Force remaining player trying to make a run as FaZe trying to stay alive down low with Uber, both in a heel off. Genji had the option to camp the bridge and, and kill people that are going to be moving across from Soznovka. Instead, they took the yellows on the cliffs, the rumblers, 
Number nine will be on their tombstone. But Genji controlling this entire cliffside denies any entry points from the water. The water would probably kill you at this stage anyway with the blue on your back. Some teams might even opt to just say, you know what, give it up. The, the, oh, oh, doesn't no. it even allow it? Yiz, just from the cliff side, says, no, you do not get to deny yourself there, Ragnar. Remember, Yiz is one of those highlight players, one of the strongest players we've seen come out through those semi-finals, so don't doubt what he can achieve, but it's a swim for him now, as it looks like Pio's watching that too. This is T1, coming in from the north after that initial scrap they had. Genesis with a great play across the island. They got a boat and they made it through swiftly. FaZe lose the heel off, as enters Force in the same scenario, trying to creep their way forward with their final player. K-Mind on a swivel, looking for any pixel out of place. Genesis look good here. Look at the room they've got. We've got six teams here. But who's going to be the picker? Is it going to be Gen G? Is it going to be Genesis? Don't forget, we've still got that one player from Enters Force lingering down Pio. in the petrol station on his own. Pio's just trying to ninja this one, isn't he? Just slowly moving his way up here, going to take the car and look for a new angle. He's found an off angle on maybe Enters Ace. Once that smoke dissipates, his angle could be one of the best. If Genesis don't realize, that's his smoke wall. He wants protection from that side. Enters Ace, and now everyone's... You know, Thanksgiving dinner at this point, and there it is. Tame in Gen G gonna find this one. Joy goes down. No more smiles, no more happiness. As Enters Ace are eliminated. We're down to four teams here. Eight kills for Gen G. Their positioning was paramount, but they have capitalized. Genesis finds the time for a second. They still have this woods to play with. They can opt to go towards the gas station, but there is one player in there. They might not be in a keeping track of him, which could be deadly in the later stages of this one. Eyes on the prize here. For North America, K-Mind and Profit. Six times, eight times with the minis. This is more than enough with the 556 five, Esther on the bike, time to go. Gen G against the circle, they gotta find a position. Where's Esther gonna head this to? The petrol station is not available, right? Down on the south coast, still slightly open. You're seeing those shots coming in. That's K-Mine spotting this one out. So now they have to piece together this puzzle that Gen G is trying to Whoa. build. Nice shot coming through, keeping that pressure building. And I'm sure the damage is going to be there now. Gen G's gear can't be sitting too pretty, whereas I look at Genesis, it's not too bad. Those players from T1 are actually holding Gen G dead to rights and locked in against the circle. I don't know how they're going to send it. It looks like a vehicle's being considered at this point. I see the car moving around. This could be a mad dash. This could be the big send. Who's going to punish? Can anyone make anything from it? They're going to move down again on the southeast side. Trying to join up, but K-Mine says no. Goodbye to one of your players. Pio still stands. He's made it further forward, and Gen G are clutching at straws. Genesis so far are the kings of this game. Seven kills in the bag, and the win is looking good. All four players up, the only team left here in phase seven with everybody surviving. The circle was good for them. It came their way, but they have capitalized on the position. However, eventually they will have to come down from the security of this hillside where they are. There is plenty of trees and cover to do that, but they've still got to get past these Korean teams. Three up for Gen G, Smokes, eventually Lauren, they're going to dissipate and they're going to be completely out of utility. And honestly, they're going to be working with very little. But they're trying to forge a path. They're trying to find a way forward. They're trying to put anything they can to create maybe a chance. Because the circle isn't too pleasant for Genesis either. They have to shift further and further forward down the slope, more and more into the vision of Gen G. I don't see any smoke now left on Ether. That's going to be a bit of a hindrance going forward. It might be time to start fighting out once these final smokes go. Profi just casually kicking He's off it. in the back lines. Who is this madman? He better have moves. He better be on a serpentine between these shots. And K-Mine, he can't land a shot. Somehow he's made it to the next touch of cover. And inch by inch, Gen G get closer. I'm seeing damage coming out from T1. We did oh, say about oh. getting tunnel visioned here. And it might have punished them. They've taken the eyes off a of T1 in that little shack. Nerf's gone down, smokes are up. Now they have to take one out of the scenario to get him back on his feet. The res will come through. That only gives eyes up for Genesis of two individual players. This allows Genji to actually move. Look this is this. dangerous. Oh my god, Esther is making the play. Moving up again under the fire. You know the suppressing fire was coming in. Seeing that knock, you know you got space. Genesis have been static. They haven't moved as much. They haven't tried to capitalize. They haven't been able to punish Genji. 
and Inter's four still stand. T1 still stand. This is not a good position. Enough goes down. That's going to be a flush. They haven't kept them in check, oh! and now they are being punished hard. T1, Profi, K my nerf. They are dying at the hands of the two guys in the shack. This is just. How have you let this happen? You've taken your eyes off the ball, and now they are punishing you hard. T1's hammer is coming down. They were on cloud nine, and now they are feeling the full force of Korea. Pio is running in the open. Look how confident. Through the door. Through the door. Oh Do it. My Do it. God, if that is on. It's oh in. Oh my God, Pio! We asked where he was. We wanted an answer, and we find it. T1 are out. They're eliminated. We're into the top three. And NA still has their champions, but for how long? Enter's force. How are these? Oh my God, this is a punish. That's an execution. Loki had no idea. And force were waiting. And force strike. That's a one shot. Smokes are up. We'll be able to make a run here. Seong Yan, literally the last man standing for force has caused problems for Gen G. Ten kills in the bag is fantastic. Genesis have been able to get one more person back on the feet. Two man squad. They will continue. Song Yang, just this solo ranger, is causing problems oh across the battlefield. Oh my god! Lauren. He barely made it over the bridge. He barely made it away from FaZe. And now he stands on the precipice of being the downfall of Gen G and Genesis. K Mind, last man alive for Genesis. He's trying to do what he can and he falls. We're down to the top two. A 1v2! It ain't gonna happen! Gen G! Not the defenders, but the reclaimers! from outside on the edge of the circle.